when we are standing close to a rainforest like this, it's very clear how much force can alter and define the climate around us, right? When we feel the cold air and see the moisture rising. But most of the time when we talk about forest and climate, we're talking about carbon sinks. But forests and trees, they alter the temperature, the moisture flow, um, the wind through the changes in surface roughness, uh, shading, um, and also, also moisture transport, as our colleague mentioned before. Um, but most of the time we're talking about them as carbon sinks, right? Um, we can say in a way that there's two types of climate change. There's the carbon-related type of climate change, but there's also the land use change-related climate change. And this type of climate change, we have a lot of understanding about it. There's a lot of people studying it in different fields. Uh, from meteorology, climatology, to other fields that use very different approaches, located from very different scales, from the local to the global. But we haven't been able to translate this into policy making yet. First, because we're so focused on carbon sinks. And second, because this knowledge is so complex. It depends on where you're talking about. It depends on whether you're talking about temperature or rainfall. So I'm very excited uh, to be working right now with uh, the FAO and a very amazing team of researchers around the world in, which, uh, in a project in which we're trying to take us do a little bit of a stock taking of what you have learned about the role of trees and forests in regulating climate and providing benefits to agriculture. So in this report, we're going to look into the climate related benefits, but we are also going to look into pollination, um, changes in the water cycle locally and non-locally, um, how it affects also workers' health, especially in rural areas. Um, so this is my pitch. Uh, thank you very much.